ago, AMBEST rolled out its new criteria for scoring and assessing innovation. That event coincided with a global pandemic, indirectly creating a pressing need for insurers to adapt and modify operations in response. Measuring the effectiveness of those shifts and transitions is the subject of a new AMBEST special report on innovation. I'm Lori Chortis for AMBEST TV. And here to discuss those findings is AMBEST Associate Director Jason Hopper. Jason, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Lori. Insurers have had to respond to very challenges in the wake of COVID-19, which has also led to some opportunities. Jason, how did those insurers analyzed in this research respond overall to the evolving risk environment? So I think the pandemic really highlighted both the well-planned um, as well as the disjointed uh, innovation processes that companies have been trying to implement um, over the last uh, three or so years. Consumer behavior has changed dramatically, um, partially in reaction to um, the new environment, uh, you know, work from home kind of things like that. Digital technology has accelerated uh, at a quite fast pace and product innovation has been uh, another focal point of insurance companies uh, to improve to try and um, adapt to the kind of changing consumer behavior in marketplace. One of the key components in AMBEST developing an innovation assessment revolves around the company's leadership. What role has that played in roughly the last 18 months? Sure. So obviously there's been dramatic changes over the last year and a half. Um, leadership obviously starts at the top in terms of innovation process and embedding it throughout the entire organization. Um, we've seen such actions happen where more companies are uh, forming chief innovative officer positions, um, new positions that they're replacing. Uh, the candidates, they might be geared a little bit more towards the innovation side, kind of thinking outside the box. Um, ultimately, how to further their innovation goals. Um, going forward as they navigate through and kind of coming out of the pandemic. And, and now they're facing interest, uh, different interest rate environment. Um, so the, there's a number of factors that companies are, are trying to adapt to. The report notes that developing an innovative culture has been an ongoing challenge. Can you explain what's behind that and how insurers have responded? Sure. So there's been a wave of change, obviously, over the last year and a half. Um, innovation has gained more attention from leadership. The pandemic has exacerbated that, as we mentioned before. Um, but I think the other thing, employees have kind of lived through this transition, right, and seen everything firsthand, um, directly related to the work that they are doing. Um, so I think that also helped ebb the cultural shift a little more quickly um, than historical norms throughout the insurance industry. We've seen more active promotion at some companies throughout the entire organization. Um, and new hires, again, as I mentioned before, um, you know, looking for new hires, thinking outside the box, maybe a little bit more of a um, innovation slant, if you will. Um, so those are the kind of things that are being implemented by companies and leadership uh, to, to maintain their competitive position and, and continue to innovate. Jason, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you, Lori. That was Jason Hopper, an Associate Director at AMBEST. For AMBEST TV, I'm Lori Chortis.